Whether your Nord's tankless water heater came with an external remote in the box or you purchased one separately, this video will show you how to connect it. The remote is not necessary for the unit to operate, however, it's very beneficial for making temperature adjustments, getting service reminders, and even troubleshooting. First, let's determine which unit you have. If your tankless has a small display window built into the bottom right corner of the front cover, the connection for the remote control will be inside the unit on the circuit board. On the other hand, if your tankless does not have a built-in display window, the remote control connection will be found underneath the unit. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver to complete either of these procedures. Unplug the unit from power. Remove the four screws securing the front cover to the unit and place it somewhere safe. Locate the circuit board along the bottom of the unit. There will be a plastic flap with directions printed on it. Lift that flap out of the way to familiarize yourself with the location of the screw terminals. Fish the remote control wire through the bottom and into the unit. Then route the wire to the remote terminals. Make sure to avoid any pinch points. Back out the two Phillips screws a few turns. Now slip the U-shaped connectors under the screws. Carefully hand tighten the screws back down. You don't need much force here, just enough to secure the connectors from slipping out. These connections are not polarity sensitive, so it doesn't matter which wire you connect to each terminal. Connect the remote control to the other end of the remote control cord. Plug the unit into power. Press the power button to turn the remote on. If all is working well, put the front cover back on with the four Phillips head screws and mount the remote control in a weather protected area. If your unit is installed outdoors, the remote control will need to be installed indoors as it is not waterproof. You may need a professional to do this since you need to safely penetrate the wall to route the remote control wire inside. Unplug the unit from power. Locate the remote control terminal box underneath the unit. There will be a screw securing the cover. Carefully remove it to gain access to the remote screws. Choose a pair of screws on either side and back out the screws just enough to slip the U connector underneath. Do not connect one wire to each side. Fish the remote control wire through the rubber grommet and into the terminal box. Then slip the U-shaped connectors underneath. Carefully hand tighten the screws back down. You don't need much force here, just enough to secure the terminals from slipping out. These connections are not polarity sensitive, so it doesn't matter which wire you connect to each terminal. Connect the remote control to the other end of the remote control cord. Plug the unit into power. Press the power button to turn the remote on. If all is working well, Put the remote control terminal cover back on with the screw.
If your unit is installed outdoors, the remote control will need to be installed indoors as it is not waterproof. You may need a professional to do this since you need to safely penetrate the wall to route the remote control wire inside. Unplug the unit from power. Locate the remote control terminal box underneath the unit, then pinch and pull down to see the screws. Back out the two visible screws. Fish the remote control cord through the rubber grommet and into the terminal box. Then slip the U-shaped connectors underneath. Carefully hand tighten the screws back down. You don't need much force here, just enough to secure the terminals from slipping out. These connections are not polarity sensitive, so it doesn't matter which wire you connect to each terminal. Connect the remote control to the other end of the remote control cord. Plug the unit into power. Press the power button to turn the remote on. If all is working well, push the terminal box back into place. If your unit is installed outdoors, the remote control will need to be installed indoors as it is not waterproof. You may need a professional to do this since you need to safely penetrate the wall to route the remote control wire inside. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found this helpful.